um, I thought when I went through benzo withdrawal, I was on benzo withdrawal for, uh, I was on benzos for 40 years and it caused all sorts of medical issues. And it, one of the issues was spine pain. And I don't know if it's nerve damage or inflammation of the spine and brain or what. There's just so many things going on at once. And um, so I'm three years off benzos. I'm a year off of Zobaclone. I'm not on any other medications except for um, thyroid medication. And uh, I think the first couple of years, I think maybe the first year, like I, I'm critically sleep deprived and I have been for many years and it's progressive and it's gotten gradually, slowly worse. And in December, 2017, something, it felt like something changed in my brain and my sinuses. And I start. I went from sleeping three hours a night to one to two hours a night, only one to two hours a night. And maybe twice that year, I, twice in the first year, I think I slept maybe four hours twice. And second year off benzos, I slept four hours a few more times than that. Now I, as of a few months ago, I started sleeping two to three hours and once every four to six weeks, I will sleep four hours a night and no napping. And, you know, everyone misinterprets this to mean two hours at a time and then I fall asleep and then I fall asleep again, wake up and fall asleep again for another two hours. No, I'm talking two hours only every 24 hours, two hours only of sleep every 24 hours or three hours every 24 hours. And occasionally every once in a while I will sleep four hours and the past well, up until this moment, see, when I f sleep four hours a night, I'm higher, my brain is higher functioning and I'm able to have product, have some uh, productivity instead of none. And I'm able to do a little bit of house cleaning and as opposed to no house cleaning and no level of functioning. So I had almost four hours last night and my brain is higher functioning, not normal yet at all. But see, up until this point, I had always thought that the odd time I sleep four hours, then I start to do a bit of house cleaning and then the spine pain starts from bending down, picking things off the floor from, you know, so much movement that I'm not used to. Well, this time around, I'm, I'm just so tired. I'm ready to fall down. This time around, I didn't. I was busy online. I was busy doing stuff, but wasn't physically active. It's, it's now midnight, and I, I want to do a little bit of picking up and cleaning up. So I haven't done any bending down or house cleaning. And up until this moment, I thought the spine pain was starting on these days of four hours of sleep because I was bending over and using my spine in ways that I'm not normally using it. Well, I haven't done anything yet. And you know, what's bringing the spine pain is the actual almost four hours of sleep. For some weird reason, when I actually do get a little bit of sleep and restorative and REM sleep, the, pine, the the spine pain starts. So it's not activity or bending down and movement that's causing the spine pain. 
the actual sleep is causing the spine and brain pain. So why the heck would that be?